Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about Coinbase Global Corporation. We'll perform an initial analysis on the company and review the analysis breaking news reports as well. And then we'll also talk about our position and where we think the stock might be heading in the, in the next week or two. All links will be in the below description. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and click any of the money icons below to review our past videos. Please smash that like button and subscribe so more people can watch our content. Let's get busy. Here's our current position with Coin. Uh, we picked up the position on 723. We performed a covered call. It's a one day position and it doesn't look like it's getting cold away. So we're going to roll this position on over. Now we done that again last week for a two day period. And we collected a 1.8% on our money, which was $389 for two days. So you can you can pick up some cash between Thursday and Friday, and the covered call expires on that Friday for a two-day period if you like. It looks like it's working pretty good for me, except maybe this week. I'll roll it over for next week. No big deal. I like coin a lot. Here is Coinbase. Looks like it dropped down about $3 today, about 1.33%. Wouldn't worry about that so much. The volume is only 1.2 million shares out of the average volume of 5.3. That means it lost a little bit of interest there. No problems. Whenever it loses interest and it doesn't perform well with average volume, the share price comes down. This is a tricky stock to play. And we'll get into the chart later. As you can see, all the indices are up. The Russell just went up a little bit ago. Uh, we still have 30 minutes left of trading. Down here, let's see what the analysts have to say. The analyst price targets is between $225 and $650. Yes, you got that right, $650. Now the average is $382. We're even below the low based on Yahoo. All right, the first news, what we're going to cover, Coinbase announced the date of second quarter financials. And it's coming up here around August 10th at approximately 1 p.m. This article here is on Kathy Woods. As you know, uh, ARK Investing invests in this stock heavily. Uh, this just came out a couple days ago and is talking about... Uh, their position in this stock. There is no denying that ARK Invest favorite 2021 IPO is Coinbase. Wood has been hev heavily buyer of the leading cryptocurrency marketplace since it hit the market just three months ago. It is now the sixth largest holding among other ETFs. And it would be the bronze medalist if Coinbase was trading close to the high of nearly $430 that it hit on the first day of trading. I'm telling you guys, this Coinbase, you guys need to have a little bit of it inside your portfolio. I will place this article down below. Now, this is the news I wanna cover. Now, is Coinbase stock a buy right now as Bitcoin retakes about $32,000? Now, as you guys know how Coinbase makes money, it makes money on the trades, back and forth. And they're stating here that the direct listing of Coinbase was April 14th, pricing at $250 a share. 250 and we're currently sitting at about 224 So you can get a discount compared to what it was priced at at the IPO. The Coinbase IPO is potentially a, a watershed event for the crypto industry and will be something the street will laser focused on to gauge investors' appetite. Coinbase charges fees of several percentage points to deposit funds and trade, which is one of the main ways the company makes money. Roughly 90% of the company's revenue as of 2020 comes from the transaction fees and trading and service services like storage. Now you have to pay for storage. So they're making money off of different ways off of this cryptocurrency. Now they talk about the huge earnings and sales growth. The, the first quarter ended uh, March 31st and an outlook for the full year ending December 31st, 2021. The company expects verified users of 56 million with $223 billion in assets on their platform, representing an 11.3% crypto asset market share. This is a monster. These guys are already making money. 
And then they talked about that they slightly missed estimates at their last quarter. The company showed total revenues of $1.8 billion and EPS of $3.05 a share. Wall Street expected Coinbase to earn $3.07. So they were off by two pennies on a revenue of $1.81 billion. So they were off by $10 million there. Uh, earnings soared 2,350% uh, while sales spiked 845% versus the year ago period. So coin, coin stock is trading about 50% off its post IPO high. There's a lot of information here, and these analysts with price targets of 306, 371, 285. That's very conservative. So what it's pointing to here is the price is going nothing but up. But we're in this quagmire of around $224 right now as we're trading up. The market is still open, so it's still moving around. Let's get on to the chart. All right, looking at the one-day chart, each one of these intervals is one day. All right, we, our 200-day moving average don't work here because it has the stock hasn't been around for 200 days. Uh, it entered 4-14-2021. And what it looks like here is we're creating a floor. And I think the floor is somewhere around 220 or so. It has some dips below the floor, but we do know where those points are. So it can actually go lower than 220, but it doesn't stay there long. It looks like it's only a three-day period below the, three to the 220 mark. That's a good thing. The 15 days gives us a little bit better view of what's happening with her. It looks like the 15 day shown her in a downward trend where this line is. Remember the blue line is a 50 day and the red line is a 200 day at moving average. Which you can't even rely on the 200. You can work on, on the 50 day though. You can see the lows we, we dipped down to around 215 or so in the last couple of days. Might even have went a little bit lower than that. Uh, 214, maybe 213 and then she popped back up out of this mess. But she still shows this downward trend. Now, can we dip back down here to the 215? Yes, we can. But are we going to? I don't think so. I think we're good. if we're going to dip, we're going to dip somewhere around the 221, the 220 area. And then we're going to go sideways. And once we get some good news around earnings time, people will pile back in and pump this baby back up. That's my thoughts on it. I appreciate you guys watching. This is a new stock that we've been playing with. We had a couple of trades on already. It looks like I'm going to be able to keep this stock for another week. And it has some high premiums, so I'm going to be able to pick up some money. Hopefully, maybe $600 for next weekend. So we'll see how that goes. If you have any questions or comments, please place them down below. Please share our videos with others. And please smash the like button so that all the rhythms can get our videos out to other people. And please subscribe to our channel so you can get our videos immediately when they come out. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care of yourself and have a great weekend. This is Sunny. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'm out.